Inkscape Quick Start. Hi all! This video will teach you everything you need to know to get a running start using Inkscape. So let's get started. First of all, let's see what's what. We have the canvas in the middle and on the left hand side we have some tools. The first tool we will use is the rectangle tool. Just click on it and then click and drag on the canvas. We've just created a rectangle. We also create a circle with the circle tool. Next, let's move on to the selection tool. Click on any object to select it. Click and drag to move it and resize it using one of these arrows. We can also click on it again. Then the arrows change shape and we can rotate and shear the objects now. These shapes, like most Inkscape objects, has a border and a fill. We can modify these using the fill and stroke panel. Just make sure that the object is selected and then click on this button to open the panel. We can set the fill color here and we can set the stroke color here. We can set the stroke properties like width, line style, etc. over here. And that brings us to the absolutely most useful tool in vector graphics, the Bezier Curve tool. Just click on this button and click a series of points on the canvas. These points are nodes. And the nodes are connected by line segments. To end the Bezier Curve, we can either press Enter or we can close the loop by clicking on the Start node. Once done, we can set the fill and the stroke properties just in the same way as we did for the rectangle and the circle. And now comes the awesome part. We can use this tool to modify the nodes. We can move the location of the nodes around like so. And we can click and drag the line segments to turn them from straight lines into curves. When we do this, the blue lines appear. These are direction handles. We can change the direction of the curve by modifying these handles. We can also constrain the handles. For example, if we select a node and click up here, then the direction handles become parallel. This ensures that we have a smooth transition between the line segments at the node. If we want to break the constraint on the direction handles, we just click here. That turns the nodes back into corner nodes. With Bezier Curves we can draw most anything. For example, if we just drag and drop an image here, then we can draw over it using Bezier Curves. To make things easier, we add another layer. We lock the bottom layer and make sure that the top layer is transparent. Make sure that the image is in the locked lower layer. That way we won't be accidentally selecting and moving the image all the time. I can change the level at which the objects are using these buttons. I can either set the objects more towards the foreground or more towards the background. Remember, it's usually better to keep it simple and not to add too many nodes. If you've added too many nodes, remember you can just select a node and you can remove it using this button. I can add a node by double clicking on the line.
There are a lot more features that make Inkscape an amazing piece of software. So if you want to learn more, just check out some more examples on my channel, or you can check out some other channels. I will leave some recommendations in the video description. So that's it. This is all you need to get started. So what are you waiting for? Go out there and start creating. See you later and have fun inkscaping. Bye bye.